Hey YouTube, this is 2012 MacBook Pro 15 inch motherboard, uh, but it, this applies to all MacBook Pros prior to uh, Retina ones from 2008, well, even older, till 2011, 2012. So what happens is uh, if you guys experience any issues with the memory, that looks like a memory problem, need to take the board out and inspect the slots because this is pretty common do you see what I see so this stuff a little bit of corrosion on one pin can cause intermittent problems so this is you know sometimes it, it's there sometimes it's not there so it's really hard to pinpoint so you have to take a look inside I mean, usually you can tell uh, when you remove the memory slot you you might have some uh, corrosion on one of the pins so you can tell right there there's uh, some more corrosion on the actual on the actual memory slot pin but this is what happens you know a little bit of corrosion gets here and you'll get all kind of issues memory related issues as you can see this is just like corroded there so we're gonna clean it up and we should be good to go also we need to adjust it a little bit so push it push it in or out whichever way you look at it let me remove this okay So let me clean it up nicely first and then we'll adjust it. I'm just scraping basically, scraping so we have a bare metal contact there. Scraping all the all the corrosion off of the top of the pin. Okay with my exacto knife and we're gonna use some alcohol a little more right here so that it does not spread some more cleaning you want to make sure that those pins move freely so it should not be obstructed in any way shape or form they have to you know this damaged pin they, it has to move exact same way as the as the pins next to it see nice and spring springy okay and now what we're gonna do is actually I'm not sure if I'm gonna if this will work. This might be too too wide, so we're gonna use this device to push it in. Okay. This one I believe. Okay. So yeah, and actually I think we need to scrape a little more on sides there. Okay. On that side as well. A little more scraping. Okay. Beautiful. A little more scraping on that side on that side so at this point it does not move freely so but we have to make it move freely and sometimes actually it kind of makes sense to use distilled water on these too because uh, 
it will dissolve that minerals that corrosion better than the alcohol will so let me use that a little bit and then we're gonna use alcohol to dispress that water so while it's still wet I'm gonna move it up and down is it still yeah it's still kind of gets stuck a little bit because we have some more corrosion there on the side uh, what we're gonna do now is push it in and then use a knife to clean the sides yeah now it's kind of it's almost almost done Don't go too much because you don't want to break it. some alcohol now I don't see any more corrosion anywhere, so... Yeah, this should do, I think, because when you apply the sticker, 
Yeah. This will this should do. Okay, so let's put back the sticker. Make sure also that the sticker has no no corrosion there too. Just a little bit of gunk. Maybe it's a good idea to clean it up a little bit with alcohol. Okay, so this way with the sticker on we are back in business. See, it runs solid, springy action, so we should be back in business. Alright, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day guys.